Hello, everybody. Whoever is watching on YouTube and whoever uh, is watching on uh, Facebook, where I have posted my links, welcome you all to this uh, session of uh, webinar mastermind. Uh, where many people have asked me, what is leadership growth? So I'll tell you about my story. Leadership growth is about helping people. You know, how do you think about people and how you help them to grow more, become more. And at times what happens, you also uh, push into the back seat. It doesn't matter, right? So when you have that broadness about being pushed to the uh, back door, back seat, uh, to help somebody grow more, it doesn't take much time for you to bounce back, you know. So for, for the people who are just starting out as leaders, leader, leaders, first time managers or leaders or at any place, sometimes you will be experiencing this kind of, you know, pushing pushback. I see you will be pushed towards the uh, backstage and it doesn't matter. So here, here, it, of course, is painful at times, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you have to constantly reevaluate yourself. So that is what I call as leadership growth. And uh, you don't have to be in position of authority, power, or you need to be the leader. Nothing, no, none of the sort is required if, if you are working on your... Uh, uh, capability all the time and helping people to be more. Now it is recognized now or never. So it, uh, it, it gets reflected in your personality. So let me share the screen uh, so that uh, we can discuss more about this thing. So Here is the one. So how to become proactive and driven? As I said, this is a secret to strategize the career ladder. How, how you uh, position yourself, whichever city you are uh, from. So it is basically your thought process. Whatever uh, experience I have, you know, um, I have seen that uh, um, it, it all depends on your thoughts. So first of all, to start out anything and everything, how do you describe yourself? That is the first thing is your thought process, which will take you towards the first step. How to, what to do with your uh, um, day, you know, what is the right action that you need to take? If that is there, then you um, keep on doing small, small things every day. Uh, a small win, a big win, doesn't matter. Sometimes it will fail, sometimes it will be okay. But always try to do something new and that requires some patience. You know, it doesn't happen in one day. So when you consolidate whatever you are uh, doing, stacking up all your experiences and learning, then one day you will see that you, whatever you are doing, it is just 30% and you could have achieved if you would have achieved all, all these successes, then it would, have, it would have been 30% of whatever you have thought of. The rest 70% will surprise you, provided you keep your uh, mindset positive. So this is basically about your thoughts. So first of all, how do you, you know, start out? The basic thought process is awareness about yourself. So how do you describe yourself? The first question is that. How do you describe yourself? Do you describe yourself as a person who is empathetic? A person who loves to grow? A person who loves to help? A person who wants to, uh, wants to learn a new skill every day? A person who loves reading? How do you describe yourself? So it will tell, there is no uh, right, wrong and appropriate question, answer. So whatever answer you give, 
just uh, be with it and evaluate yourself and uh, nobody is going to judge you but it, it will give you an impression of what you think about yourself the second is how did we distinguish ourselves in the last job so many people who are into leadership growth they think that it is about having a job that is what i am thinking it is not about having a job already you have a job you don't have a job you are looking for a job it doesn't matter most of the time people who are in who actually seek help are looking for jobs so if you are looking for job you need to stand out somewhere right if you have done something very common uh, thing like any other thing how do you stand out tell me so even if you do very common small things it needs to it needs to have something extraordinary your flavor right what did you how did you distinguish yourself in the last job so say if your team was of five people so how how were you known next is what is that one thing that is very important for you in your job for some people it is salary for some people it is the environment for some people it is the camaraderie in the um, in the team it is the way what was important just write it down here next is is it salary for some people it is salary so it's okay or is it an opportunity to explore your capabilities so if it is a salary it tells something about you you need to tell yourself something or if it is an opportunity to explore your capabilities if yahi hai agar then this also tells something about your capability next is how have you added to your uniqueness since the last job so suppose you uh, suppose you had a job last job and now you are in a job so how have you progressed if you are not in a job then also how have you added something to your you might be doing something right every day do you know that every day gives you some experience and that is an opportunity to grow to the next level do you know what is that then are you enjoying your job right now if yes what makes you look for another job so if, the next question is if you are already having a job what what is the next uh, thing that you are looking for another job why do you why are you looking for another job if you are not in a job do you think you deserve a great opportunity that might be the reason why you are looking for a job or are you thinking of any job just not this job you just want to move on move ahead, move on from this job is that so are you patient about your learning things while doing so everything takes some time to learn right you you start something today and you are not going to learn by tomorrow right it takes some time are you feeling patient to learn or you don't feel that kind of patience can you do something to push the process to accelerate suppose that uh, you you are not happy at the pace uh, that you are moving so what can you do do you have something in mind are you looking for a favor or are you offering value to the person you are connecting now Uh, for acceleration some people think that it is a favor somebody has an opportunity then they can actually help you uh, get another job is that something you are looking for or are you offering value to the person you are connecting so it is an indirect way if you are offering a value naturally uh, the other person will feel obliged um, to get a job or some doing some favor to you right so are you thinking like that so these will give you some kind of uh, thought pattern now basically um, you need to overcome procrastination and find your voice that is part of the leadership uh, growth so why i i come to this is suppose you are somewhere uh, stuck 
so uh, uh, getting stuck has anger grief and grievance in a, in its component and because of that you you might be finding yourself stuck and you are not able to express so these are the two aspects we will be dealing today let us see if you are a procrastinator if, if you are a perfectionist so another set of questions i have are you here to learn about leadership growth what leadership growth is all about so i'll be having some questions so you ask yourself some question as i explained or whatever you have understood are you here to learn about leadership growth somebody approaches you for a help it will take 100 phone calls to find the solution would you do it or do uh, you not do it and why if you do it why it is so and if you don't do it why it is so do you read something every day what did you learn today can you say something there are 15 questions like this on any given day you work for 8 hours or less never more given a choice what would you achieve in life and why are you aiming to serve people better how many times you do what you think to do in a day week or month office call time for children time with self which one is the most important for you why i am asking all these questions this question will tell tell you about where you procrastinate and what are the causes of procrastination and why you are feeling stuck might be any in any of the questions you might be feeling stuck at least at one point if you are stuck do you know who is a leader so you you do you think yourself to be a leader if you think yourself to be a leader then what is the characteristics that you think a leader should have are you aiming for a dignified existence respected or recognized is that what a leadership position is uh, does mean for you are you looking to be with your family more is that uh, what you are looking for are you looking to be in charge of your life how many times you talk to your boss to explain an issue what do you do to keep people posted about the current work you are engaged in so these are the 15 questions that you have have you given yourself a score that will give you yes no kind of thing and you will it will give also some thought process uh, for you i have a system how you do it so um, what i will uh, what i will tell you is there are simple three secrets to it you have to have a packaged usp unique selling point that solves a problem so do you solve any kind of problem or you have a you have something which is sellable so how to package whatever expertise you have and uh, you you might have some kind of experience or some kind of credibility but you don't have expertise or experience so how that expertise and experience will create dependability and trustworthiness will you start uh, working towards that a collaborative approach to seed legacy that is sector agnostic so uh, what about you learn something and you were gone from there and uh, that doesn't have any demand somewhere so whatever you learn should have a market prospect prospect to it that is what i call a legacy so if even if you are not if even if you are a manager not manager whatever level your knowledge actually helps people to help you right or everybody will say what were what position you held in the last job will that help of course they will think about giving you the next position if they don't find you you'll be stuck but if you can tell more about whatever uh, um, credibility you have then they probably there is more chance of getting help so if you stay till uh, till the session ends 
then I will give you an extra one-to-one -one session. So this will take 90 minutes. Do take notes. Save questions to the end. And who this is for? Most, most uh, possibly it is the first time managers who are feeling stuck. But anybody can feel stuck for that matter. So it is for people who are stuck and who I call as stuck is the people who have some anger issue, some uh, grief, some sorrow, or they have some grievances. That is when their mind is stuck at the problem aspect. You know, they are not looking for solution. They are aggrieved and stuck at that point. When they are stuck at that point, they are not looking at solutions. If they are not looking at solutions, they will not find solutions. If they, they are not finding solutions, they, then they will not move ahead. And that is how they are stuck. That is why I call that they are stuck. So why you feel stuck? Because of the thought process. You know, it, it all depends on the thought process. Normally, we think that progress is a way forward. It is upward graph for anybody and everybody. It is not so. The CEO of LinkedIn, Rian Roslansky, he says that it is in loops. Sometimes you take a step back. Sometimes you take several steps back and then come back. So he is a loop at times and suddenly there will be growth. Of course, for from every learning, there, there will be growth. And why do we step back when we step back? Actually, when we are stuck, we step back. And that is when we are complaining. And we are at 20% productivity level. Industry data says, when you are at 20% productivity level, normally you are looking for an alternative solution. And you are performing at 20% productivity level. It is a complaint situation. You have some grievance, some grief, some anger issue. Now, if that is so, then uh, the more experience you have, the more time it takes to find out a solution. For some senior people, it takes three to five years to find out an appropriate alternative solution. The entire time, they will be operating at 20% productivity level. If so, then what happens to their potential? So, but I try to find out if it is all workplace related. It affects their productivity, okay, but there are not all the problems which are productive workplace related. So if you look, look at the left hand side of your screen, it is all of course workplace related, but towards the right side, these are uh, mindset related. Now, if your mindset is, and your mindset is affected by your thought process, right? And your thought process will make hamper your productivity. Agree about that? And if so, it affects your area in several uh, life in several ways. You will your life decisions will be hampered, work decisions, competition will be troubled by competition, communication will be a problem, confidence will be an issue, there will be friction with colleagues, learning a skill will be a problem, embarking on a big vision is it is will be absent. You'll be not thinking, you are not thinking the immediate solution. How can you think of a big vision? Managing time will be a difficult problem. Consistency obviously will be a problem. So how, how can you overcome procrastination in the first place? So, um, you know, whenever you are stuck, the, the immediate thing is to take action in whatever way possible. So it is about strategic thinking. Emotional intelligence, visionary leadership, decision-making, conflict resolution, inspiring and motivating others, effective communication, adaptability, delegation, mentorship, and coaching. So these are all very, very difficult when you are not taking the first step towards a solution. Now, how do you do that? Before that, list 10 things, big and small, you do uniquely. So... Whenever you are stuck, the, there, there is a requirement of self-reflection, introspection. So how do you do that introspection? Just sitting down there and thinking over something, it will make you further stuck. So here, 
I am proposing one exercise where list big and small you do uniquely, whatever way. So uh, I was thinking of about, uh, let's like, say, how do you, uh, how do you mend any of the clothes that you into? Suppose there is a small uh, uh, tear somewhere in your dress. How do you mend it? Being a lady, I am asking the ladies. Gents can find out some way. How do you manage your dresses every day? Um, how do you shave yourself? How do you keep your keep your things arranged? How do you maintain your diary? How do you write? What uh, do you maintain digital notes? How do you speak to your colleagues? How do you speak to your boss? How do you speak to others, your family members? How do you speak to your friends? Anything, 10 things you write. And that should be unique. Now, activity two is list 10 things, big and small, that gets done where you work. So you, whatever work you have done last day, last week or last month, just write it down, 10 things. Three is list 10 things, big and small, that gets done, uh, both of these are, where you were, uh, both of these are same thing anyways. So I'm learning some tricks from 12 mentors. So let me tell you uh, who are these people. So um, any day and every day, you need to learn something. When in COVID, I thought I needed to learn something because I was sitting at home and a lot of time I had apart from my work. So if you are putting your work proportionately, uh, right, efficiently, then you will have and you are saving the commuting time because at office, you know, you uh, work, you talk with colleagues, you do a lot of meetings, all that thing. So time was saved. And uh, so I thought of taking a course. Have you thought about such a thing? So why course? Because I wanted to scale up whatever I have learned. I wanted to give it to many people. Whether these people okay or not, these will be the people. So I had a certificate. And uh, this is the mentor from Singapore from whom I learn inner champion, how to become, how to win your inner self to you know, keep pushing the self. This is the coach of Robert Kiyosaki from whom I have learned uh, how to uh, you know, master your inner voice, little voice, which keeps on stopping you at some point or other. And these are the 12 mentors I uh, work with. And uh, the latest thing that uh, Blair Singer had taught me is about uh, courage, you know. So leaders should have courage. That is what you are seeing. So courage, I have courage. So you have to push yourself moving through fear. If you have fear uh, of learning, so push your fear and keep on, keep on doing whatever you are fearful of. Key patterns in my life, pattern one. I used to be the star performer, but not the boss. So many of you might have this thing. Pattern two, I used to complain a lot, but I loved my work. Do you have this kind of pattern? Pattern three, I could handle a variety of tasks in emergency, but I never was trained for this. For example, I did work in agriculture, uh, technology, analysis. I was never trained for those. Still, I did. So are you same kind of thing? These might be also the uniqueness in you, which you should uh, try to find out so that it will help you, help you to consolidate it further. Then I got one opportunity. If each of us get some kind of opportunity at this point or that point. So I attended a HR workshop meant for HR professionals. So I was 
not an HR professional. I am a mathematics postgraduate. As I told you, I did many things which for which I was not trained. Now, here in this HR workshop, uh, I was supposed to present the HR policy of my organization. So it was it was a, a workshop of seniors and um, there were participants from big organizations also and I was from the smallest organization. So I, early in that age, I thought if I join a small organization, then I'll be a senior person. So that was some kind of uh, fancy stuff that was going on inside my mind. So I joined that. And uh, being a senior, <laughs> I was supposed to present the HR policy and there was no HR policy from my organization. So what I did was I, I designed one HR policy and presented out there. It was highly appreciated. And that is when I won the trust of um, people, no? Uh, trust of people. Who, who were uh, the senior most in that. And uh, one and a half years after, later, when I applied in that company, I was recommended for that job. So this was an opportunity for me. And that was the first experience of resourcefulness. When you intend to do something better, then you have the resources, each of us. You only need to look around to find those resources. Then the shift in my pattern happened when I um, came to that bigger organization, big organization. There I noticed I was not looking to be the boss anymore because it was a, such a big organization. I, I had to be part of a big something going on at that time. It was, it was, there were many challenging tasks and everybody was in charge of something challenging. So, it, it didn't matter whether I was the boss or not because I was the boss of whatever segment I was handling. Shift two happened. So I, I started to know that it was not the not being the boss that was that I was looking for, but it is being in charge of the task that I was looking for. So many of us actually uh, confuse ourselves with that. Being boss is will give us the unique position. It is not so. Most of us, most of us look for position, challenge, a task for which we are solely responsible. So are we, if we understand that, then we can give ourselves those kind of opportunities ourselves. We will not wait for others to give us that responsibility. So what I achieved next is, in that big organization, I actually trained 18,000 professionals to impact one crore life since 2008. And those people, see, they also went on to help people uh, under under in, in their circle, right? And I found at least two skills in everybody, which could be, which was never explored before. So I knew everybody has at least two skills, which will be of immense use. So what did I do? In Rajasthan, in two months time, we had to enumerate 45 lakh women for opening their bank account. And we did that in two months time. Alone, I couldn't have done. So we, we asked for, we sourced volunteers all across India and 12,000 of them were there. Those were trained, those people. Every day we enumerated 25,000 women and that was a big task that was done in time, in two months' time. 45 lakh women, you know, in 29 districts of Rajasthan. Next, I handled Meghalaya, where there were across seven districts of Meghalaya. Then, in, way back in 2008, there were seven districts and 239 common services center under the e-governance project of National E-Governance Project of Government of India were to be established. 1,500 people were trained. There were not, uh, that was the initial digital uh, uh, age that time and there were not much business opportunities. Still, I could make a business plan and strategically put all those CSEs for nearby banks or government departments so that they could 
get some work, you know, college and other things. And these were the 1500 people that I trained. Then in 2010, I um, did analysis of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Then in 2011 to 2015, I, I was given the charge of Bandhavad Tiger Fringe areas, fringe villages of Bandhavad Tiger Reserve, wherein people were dependent on the forest for their livelihood. They, they had only three months of food in them. And so it was a very challenging task. And we, in four years of time, we could make that area food sufficient. And this is this is the forest where I stayed, and we took undertook a vast area uh, to uh, institute a farm, herbal farm, herbal cultivation. So first of all, we did SRI, then we did integrated farming, and third, mustard cultivation, and fourth, we did uh, herbal cultivation. So it was a shift, step by step. And uh, we mobilized the local uh, ladies into uh, two cluster, Manpur cluster and uh, Dala cluster. And eventually it was federated into a um, uh, community level federation. And they won 17 awards in four years time. You know, illiterate ladies. Still, they could be trained. This is a lady who, who was awarded with CII award with 1.5 lakhs cash award. As I told, mustard production record we broke. Then these, this federation had 36 lakhs in corpus from various sources and from their savings. They became food sufficient. They became leaders. They became part of uh, the district governing board under the collector. And they won one award from the then chief minister of Gujarat, Narendra Modi. You know, that couldn't have been planned. You know, that is why I call that it is the thought process and your consistency which will win you some miraculous achievements which cannot be planned. Only you need to keep on investing on small tasks that is right. Small tasks that is productive all the time. And the lady who won the CIA award, she, she actually had a concept which was micro capital uh, will save us from vicious cycle of poverty. That is what she told. The then industry minister, Mr. Anand Sharma, felicitated her. Another farmer won MS Swaminathan Research Foundation Award. And another lady won Best SSG Leader Award from the Andhra Pradesh governor. A grassroots worker, Mr. Mukesh, became the CEO of the farmer producer company. Um, that was uh, uh, there, and he still continues being the FPO CEO. He is the colleague uh, who he he was part of my team. Now he is uh, working in UNDP. And uh, uh, after Pandagod, I became the HR head of that company, wherein I. Uh, made it a point to, to train the second rank leaders. So one executive, Moni Mandal, I trained her. Now she is handling the HR process there. Repl my, she is handling my job, job of a HR head, you know. After that, I revived the dead water set project in Jharkhand, Kuti. Uh, I won several awards as a result of my contribution at several places. I was sent on a study to, to Canada. And defining moment was deciding to work away from the comfort zone is very rare. So if I was at uh, Bandhavad doing phenomenally well, after that I took over as the HR head where I shifted to the um, headquarters of my organization. So I was never trained in HR, I told you. So that was uh, beyond my comfort zone. I face a lot of uh, uh, criticism as well. It didn't matter. I did. I could um, formulate 40 incentive structure for the grassroots worker. So it takes courage uh, to be out of your comfort zone. That is how you enjoy life. 
playing a servant leader is uncommon uh, helping people to push ahead and doing for their sick is is never common enabling another person to score the goal requires a visionary to be in charge allowing the other pe person to take the credit uh, by doing the last thing and the goal scoring is the last thing uh, that happens you know but if in time you are not passing the passing the ball the goal will not be scored so you should be the person who can pass the ball in time to the person who is strategically placed and that is a defining moment for me people can be master of uh, their craft but it takes a big heart to be appreciative of others you know these are very small small uh, things which we forget to implement at workplace and these are the things which makes us leaders so which category of personality are you out of this four common context is three resources to manage self 80% of course because you need to take a decision out of your comfort zone you have to be visionary you have to be pushing for others ahead of you then managing people if you manage yourself then managing people will take only 5% of that what managing time also becomes easier and it takes your 15% of time if you manage yourself 80% of time the next is um, how do you see yourself is the reality check how do people uh, see you is the it is what i call as resilience and how do you want to be remembered these are the three things that normally we should keep in mind uh, to do the right action at the right time you know people you you can never deceive people people will remember everybody can remember and three personality traits to conquer is confidence 30% you should have courage 20% of course but clarity 50% should know why you are doing whatever you are doing nobody can explain it you have to have this clarity all by yourself four communication aspects to be careful about listening 25% people say that communication is about english no it is about listening reading speaking and writing all in equal proportion then only you can speak well leaders leadership style ingredients are you should have the direction 5% delegation 10% coaching 15% and empowering is 70% so if you are empowering all the time that is how you build trust achieve leadership growth by strategizing your career ladder so all these ingredients will help you strategize your career ladder and you can never be uh, way fallen behind in your uh, thing so what are the indicators how can you strategize your career ladder so make all the time what are what are the right steps that you can take your results should be known all the time make sure that whatever you are doing that results have to be known to other people growth trajectory is monitored maybe you are pushing backwards going backward forth all that things are happening but you need to know that your trajectory is monitored unless you do so you will not know if you are going back and that will require to push forward right so you should know that you are going backward so all the time monitor your growth trajectory and train people to replace you so this will help you in monitoring people and what you do the six things you need to do is problem analysis presentation skill optimum use of time budget and hr creating a second line leaders overcoming ambiguity subject matter expertise these are the six things you need to do so many people when i ask if they are very 
first time managers you know they think that hard work needs to be done so hard work is the center of the point and they are all the time are concerned and they are uh, full of worries but uh, what should be the way you should be building influence with your goal smart work and the essential thing is you need to be happy all the time now think about this if your team building skills are 9 out of 10 somebody asked me i am building team all the while why growth is 5 on 10 i asked him this and he couldn't reply you know if your honesty leads to transparency why is it honesty for management it should be helpful for the management right if you are honest what have you done to unstuck yourself suppose you were stuck at some place why are you what did you do to unstuck yourself and my system is this blueprint so you know? uh, first thing is you uh, yeah, differentiate yourself second is you create resilience trust dependability that will help you to influence and you will achieve prominence thereby and all the time your attitude habit action and perception matters all the time you need to learn and that is how you grow and the techniques that you will be learning is resourceful influence right and the learning impacts will be how this learning will contribute to holistic improvement how it how the organization is helped how the boss is helped how the super boss is helped how your colleagues are helped learning impact two will be who would you become attitude defines personality how is your attitude habit strengthens credibility what habits you want to strengthen action and enhances dependability what credibility you want to earn perception creates reality do you agree things can be different than what you think and all these questions you need to ask learning impact 3 is power reduce sometimes you will lose job or you are not having job so what will be your power resume these four things are there in your resume is it in one uh, one page because nowadays people don't read so if your resume is very clearly outlined and it is crisp it will be in one page uh, do you have five strength areas defined do you have five types of resume ready are you developing the right contacts these are the essential things about power resume learning impact four years strategic positioning how to sell your ideas and personality and how do you position yourself who you are how can you describe yourself in one line so there are five steps to it subtle assertion you have to make strong conviction you should have suitable obsession you need to show subliminal orientation uh, has to be there and synergizing conversation why i say the other person needs to your interviewer and the interview panel needs to know that you are a very very good resource person for them learning impact 5 is seven aspects of leadership growth uh, call aspects are there and there will be free weekly call that i'll be providing every day own skill how to do that then high become highly productive ha- happily engaged hustle consistently hungry for transformation hopeful of better time honest about our efforts hungry for transformation so these uh, hopeful of better time hopeful for better time so this has come twice honest about efforts so this also has um, so 
seven things you need to uh, that is what we will be learning here now learning impact six developing characteristic of a resourceful mindset what do you learn every week and tradition of gurukul that will be setting up here and my vision is one lakh super performing global players for a sustainable globe that is my vision working with core values so these peace green and abundance initiative with six values i call as tranquility inclusion dignity abundance learning and joy we will be finding out your value determination process accordingly you can function focus on ultimate ultimate objective was i influencing with resourcefulness you need to ask uh, what is resourcefulness now what are the resources what what process who you need to become what are the choices and it always those four things it uniquely differentiates you it will you you command admiration uh, you 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 establish your credibility and stand out look at 3x group this is the influence path and influencing overcoming challenges consistently it is not just one time consistently over and over again you need to uh, this uh, to this and resourceful influencing means it wins recognition and growth that is what you are uh, looking at right it creates resilience it overcomes struggles and challenges it unravels re relevance and it propels towards reaching beyond without feeling burnt out that that is why it is so full in it is a chain reaction growth questions what is the principles you have so here we will be testing your personality with seven kind of test uh, four four kind of test and uh, and we can find out what kind of uh, strengths you have leadership growth program is about uh, i have uh, about 10 uh, aspects i deal with one of them we are dealing with here about uh, next level growth efficiency production uh, how to overcome procrastination and all so these are the 10 areas where i call them as potency pattern partnership progress process pregnancy puzzle perception performance and passion and the five bonuses will be about internal patterns how to build a big vision and all um, there will be some results mindfulness of course when you are overcoming your procrastination this will be required and uh, process continuous upgrade will be required and uh, mentoring is one process how to do it and entrepreneurship is your legacy aspect how can you be the resource person for all time to come that will be career agnostics and we will be doing with some frameworks it will depend on uh, there are some common things are there but based on in individual perception how you can do that we will be doing that exercise as well we will develop a performance tracker so that we will monitor your growth and meaningfulness of this career audit you need to do all the time meaningfulness of existing career showing your relevance becoming your way are you thinking long term what difference do you make to your organization how do you measure quality of your task are you solving a problem how can you minimize regrets as a 8 year old do you think you are a better person than a year back and growth score you need to give yourself this is the performance tracker you can build value score you can give yourself and you can track yourself all the time so behave like the ultimate leader the other day somebody was asking me whether uh, he can be a ceo nothing tells him how to become a ceo now behave like a ceo na so what does it do you know what a ceo does so observe that and try to behave like i told him that become an attraction expert bottom line reality is what is the core behind your efforts what is that thing which drives you right have you established your principal value system 
what kind of system do you operate in what control system what strategies do you have in place what are the tactics do you employ to get your work done delegate prioritize running deeper what are the action points you engage on daily basis do you track results of each action and who is the leader connects the group with the outside world inspires and motivates others exhibits technical and professional expertise practices self development establishes stretch goals collaborates and fosters teamwork solves problems and anal analyzes issues communicates powerfully and broadly champions change innovates builds relationships displays honest honesty and integrity focuses on results develops others takes initiative do you do all this these these are the leadership ceo qualities do you do so how do you start yourself how do you design your team in doing all this focus on morning hours for you say you know when you wake up for one hour i don't feel like speaking do you feel like that so it is all about powering yourself up you know and kpi is keep people interested keep people informed keep people involved and keep people inspired you are not a leader until you have produced another leader who can produce another leader that is what is said about a leadership what matters to you is it more than three things in a day do you take tea breaks regularly do you have skill to make your work interesting do you use emails effectively have you figured out which are those which are the principles which are which are those which creates 80% of your results tackle the challenging tasks uh, before lunch so it is that is what you need to do as a principle this is a hack so we will create a success matrix as to how to how how you can project the reports you no know, your reports top line and bottom line these are the strategic uh, areas you need to deal consistently subject matter expertise what you are building your strategy your your expertise on being relevant depth and diversity your whatever is your concern your interest and your usefulness ignorance the bot bottom line whatever people know they at the grassroots level at the top level they don't know uh, are you building the gap are you building the bridge leadership significance is your competence your passion and the need the intersection of that is significance are you in that position connecting the dots data information knowledge insight and wisdom that is how you create impact are you presenting your uh, reports in these formats bringing a change navigating ambiguity ambiguity is the biggest uh, no spoil sport at workplace a little ambiguity here and there somebody says something your boss says something your super boss says something your colleagues have other opinion lot of ambiguity is created and you need to uh, now streamline all this choice of alternatives what what alternative people will come with various background some with bad idea failure wrong success problem mistake crisis all these things all these background will be there in in the minds of your colleagues so everything everything is an alternative solution you know alternative alternative plan you can plan according to your uh, risk risk failure bad idea what mistakes are you doing anything wrong is there suppose something wrong happens your journey who you become in this entire process who you become is the most important thing it is not that results result that is important it is 
who you become in the process of achieving the result is the only thing, only bottom line that needs to be achieved so that you can solve the problem. That is what Jack Canfield, the, the person in the secret sees. What problems happening now? List those down. Very important. Why do you think those are happening? This should be an ongoing analysis. How is your work-life health focus on your productivity? Why should you not want a short-term solution? Many people say, how to fix this problem right now? Figure out a reason why, if, even if you solve this problem right now, it will still bring another problem. Do you agree with me on that? What can be a long-term solution? So if it is a long-term solution, you need patience, right? You need discipline, right? What all you have tried so far? So small, small solutions, you, have, you must have tried some. What are the failures? What are the successes? And daily dilemmas in life. The communication issue, as I said, it has to be 25% each. Write, read, speak, listen. It has to be a discipline. And many ask, what subject? It is your subject, yeah. Of course, it is your subject. Whatever subject you like, whatever subject you are, you want to discuss on, that is the subject. Many people have time management problem. Like what? They go on, like say, every minute, every hour, Uh, deciding something. So many things they won't even remember. So if you are focusing on more than three things in a day, it will not happen. You cannot do everything. So uh, uh, what should be the solution? Why can't you segment your day? Morning time, office time, personal time, family time. This is all that you need to do. In that time, whatever you need to do, you do. How how do I know what will be your family time? You should be going on uh, with playing with your uh, child or talking to your spouse. It is up to you. Take five small actions every day if you procrastinate. Hope. What do you need to achieve? So if it is if it is writing five pages and you can't do, then write uh, five lines. If five lines is very difficult, write five words. So what do you need to achieve? Depends on that, no? Ki how much you have to write. One page a resume. How to formulate the entire experience in one page? This can be one thing. Put three things in priority if you are overwhelmed with every day's work. More than three tasks, you cannot focus. Or if you want to do more than three, then it will be more than eight hours. So, that, that will not be quality work. Only three things you can focus in a day. And if you have to focus on the several things, you need to know which segment. Three segments of work you can juggle with. Be crisp and specific when you are asking for support. How to decide where you need support without appearing stupid. Read, write, listen and speak more if faced with a communication challenge. How to integrate the subject and what to be communicated. Presentation skill, how to integrate the subject and what to be communicated. So we have many practice ebooks, online practice sessions um, um, that deals with all these problems. How to, uh, how to do each of that. This is a dream tracker that uh, we have. So it doesn't happen so streamlined, but if you plan this, you know by which time what you need to achieve. It will not happen exactly at that date, but it will be, it will, it will happen. Initially, it will be delayed, but afterwards it will happen at a very rapid rate. Sometimes it will, I have asked myself to, I have given myself March 28th as the date when I'll be going to achieve a C. 139 countries and all that. Much before it, I'll be achieving it. How does it matter if you are achieving all the time? 
maybe all those things may not be achieved with my present uh, version. So I have to uh, learn pro progressively, gradually, so that I can achieve all those. How can you do that? That there is a process, practice for that. You know, how to enhance your credibility? How to achieve excellence? How to have consistency? How to do journaling? How to grow beyond? How to have deep learning? How to have sensibility, wellness, upgraph? So start starting today, three hero stories in the B zone, flat out fantastic, crucial crisis, intrigue, attuned, active listening skills, you know, self-assessment, strategic mentoring, spontaneity, skill lethargy, pull your own strings, taking responsibility, attitude shift, body capacity, maximize health, all these will be part of our uh, lessons. Now, So that is, so all these are priced at two lakhs, but no, no, for today it will be available at a very short price, provided you have some questions. So what all questions do you have? If you have a question, you can put in YouTube because you are watching there. And uh, I'll be I'll be answering them. So thank you very much for this, and see you in another session.